Our top focus, a probe report into the Augusta Westland chopper deal points to more military links, the possible involvement of another military man other than former Air Chief Marshal S.P. Tiagi. Middleman Guido Hashke's uh, confession quoted in the Italian probe report mentions negotiations with an important person in Indian defense. Italian investigators believe it may be a military man other than former Air Chief S.P. Tiagi who has been named as one of the main accused. Hashke's confession also refers to commissions paid to the Tiagi family. It says the team scaled down its commission in order to make a 28 million euro payment to this particular family. The CBI is preparing to start its investigation into the Augusta Western Chopper deal. It has already registered a complaint. Sources say joint teams of the CBI, the Ministry of External Affairs and the Defence Ministry will be flying to Italy on Monday. They have put in a formal request to get both uh, Italian probe reports that have been filed in court. In India, the CBI is focusing on IDS India and aerometrics that have been named in the probe report. It alleges that uh, 510,000 euros were paid per month through engineering contracts to IDS India and IDS Tunisia. All right, for more, let's get in a word from Arunodaya Mukherjee, who's been tracking that big story for us. Arunodaya, the CBI team likely to go to Italy on Monday. What more do we know about the kind of evidence that the CBI is following as of now? Well, as of now, it's uh, simply based on the complaints that they've got uh, from the Ministry of Defence. Uh, on the basis of that, the CBI first believed that it's very important for them to get in touch with the Italian prosecutors and the Italian police, which conducted the initial stages of the investigation. And on the basis of that probe report, the CBI can then build uh, uh, its investigations and its case. For that, they've constituted a two-member team comprising of a senior investigating officer as well as a law officer who would be going to uh, uh, Italy on Monday. Monday night along with uh, officials from the Ministry of Defense as well as the Ministry of External Affairs. Uh, they are working together. On the basis of what they find there, uh, we can expect the CBI to register a preliminary inquiry. So what would their, uh, their, uh, what would be number one on their agenda? Well, they would be trying to uh, also, uh, uh, being in Italy, they would also try and get some more details on Guido Hashke as well as Carlo Gerosa, two people whose conversations are repeatedly uh, recorded in that Italian probe report. And it is these conversations which has given rise to these Indian names, uh, names like uh, the Tiagi brothers and uh, from them uh, the, the name of the former air chief as well and also names of those crucial companies which Jyoti Kamal is going to talk about in just a bit uh, from now those crucial companies which basically acted as the the, the hubs to uh, uh, to invite and, uh, and and generate that massive amount of money which would come in uh, uh, under the garb of paying for software exports but were actually meant to be channeled into India so that they could go and pay all the relevant people in the right position so that uh, the Augusta Westland uh, company Company could win this uh, chopper deal. All right, and then of course, uh, there's still a clarification expected uh, on that uh, military man's uh, identity. Thanks so much for that update. And as I don't know, I was talking about those two Indian companies that are under scanner. They are IDS India and Aerometrix. Our senior editor Jyoti Kamala reports on the money trail. Here we are at the Information Technology Park in Chandigarh and just here nearby is this IDS Infotech office that's coming up, a swanky new building which coincidentally a lot of investment was being made by IDS in new infrastructure development just while this Augusta Westland contract was actually going through when it is alleged that all this bribe money was coming in and this is a new building being set up by IDS Infotech and in fact there are other properties that IDS Infotech has here. There are two properties in Mohali, another in Sector 67 in Mohali, one in Chandigarh Technology Park and right across the road is Aerometrics, where it is alleged that most of the money came in to Aerometrics from IDS India, routed to IDS Tunisia, and then that uh, that money started coming here to Aerometrics against bogus engineering contracts. Now it's also for the software technology parks of India, which are supposed to certify all exports as to what kind of exports are taking place, how those exports are going out, and what is the money coming in. They would also now obviously have to explain how they were certifying these exports that were taking place. Of course, for now, all the directors of the company have uh, just stopped responding. They have not given any clarification so far. And the directors of the company are Manish Bagrodia, Ashish Bagrodia, Yog Prakash Agarwal, Narendra Agarwal, Pratap Krishna Agarwal, and Satish Bagrodia. None of them are commenting. And the CBI, of course, is supposed to be investigating. But for now, here in the region, the CBI is saying that they haven't yet started their investigations.